Hi, hello, welcome, salam, namaste, guys. How are you doing? So, there were few questions asked to me about something. Can, can Shaker, can you please prepare something else other than Splunk? Uh, how we can do daily Splunk? So they asked me once in a while, once in a week, or once in a by week. Do some other things which will help us for our job search. So here is the interview question and answers. Also, uh, in my job, I, I, my one of my friend, he asked me, he, he is looking for a job, and he asked me to refer him for uh, some new jobs or something. So I had to. Uh, so I actually spoke with uh, one of my old manager, and he asked me first you interview him, and then send me. His, about the feedback about him and then uh, send me his resume, he told me. So I did the same. And uh, so I thought this is actually a very nice topic. This will help a lot of our users, a lot of my Splunk users also for who are preparing for interviews. So I thought to do some question and answers. So for your easy remembering of my YouTube channel, the link is youtube.com slash at the rate 100 days of Splunk. So chapter zero intro. This video is mainly focusing for SQL or no SQL users or admins or somebody. Also, this is for college students or somebody who are learning computer science or information technology. This video may be useful for somebody who is learning the database concepts. Database, a relational database, RDBMS or many things. So, DBMS, database. Database management system or DBMS also relational database management systems. So if somebody are learning these concepts, these areas, this this will be useful for them. And also this will be useful for data analytics, data science. Data science, I should not say that one, but still for beginner roles. If you are if you are aspiring to become a data scientist in future. First, you should learn some data science, data analytics, and many, many, many things. And then after four or five years, you will become data scientist. So moving to next slide, the chapter one, the candidate. So I was, I I got the resume of, resume of that, uh, you, my candidate. He had one year SQL experience, some my SQL experience also, he is, looking for a job in Chennai or Bangalore or Coimbatore. Uh, for non-India people, these are all Tamil Nadu cities at India location. India is the country name. Many of my users are aware, but still <laughs> just for fun, right? So the, he told me he is okay for foreign also, Singapore, Malaysia, Dubai, or Middle East also okay for me, he told. I laughed a little bit. Uh, okay, no problem. Uh, why, why reducing his hopes? So I told him uh, to get a foreign job. Uh, it is always first better to join a job in Chennai or Bangalore or Coimbatore. Through your, through your company, you should they should sponsor you the visa and then traveling uh, and then work moving to migrating to Singapore, Malaysia, Dubai, Middle East or any other countries also will become easy. That is what I told him. It's suddenly, starting a job search in foreign location is almost impossible or not recommended. Very difficult job. You will you will need to spend your time and energy and money, everything. But okay, no need to go much deeper. So I asked him, 
you were using ms sql or mysql i asked him he told me mysql then i told then i asked him uh, okay what is mysql what is uh, oracle i asked him he told uh, oracle i don't know mysql is a data, uh, database uh, we were using that one that's what he told so so then i told him mysql is a is a develop, is an rd BMS developed by Oracle. Particularly, this is an open source tool. So that I told him about this one. If you don't want open source tools, you should go for uh, Oracle database itself, which is a costly tool, I told him. So then only he understood that there is an open source and there is a, an Oracle something, something. So that is one thing. Second thing, MS SQL. MS SQL, on the other hand, is a database management system developed by Microsoft. So many users may not be available, may not be aware that MySQL, MS SQL, they may think both are same or uh, you can see that MS meaning Microsoft. So you automatically know that one. But many users, MySQL, MySQL is, it's a little bit difficult conventions they followed but uh, I told I, I asked him the question and I asked I told him the answer myself then second question I asked him any scripting language or programming languages he used he told me SQL mainly SQL they were using for for the for in that during that one year job he told me so then and then he told me uh, python or uh, python package pandas they were using his particularly his seniors were using it this candidate uh, he never had, he never got a chance he never got a chance to learn it or use it or master it or whatever it is so i asked this and uh, he told me uh, they used to Okay, let's move to the next session, next screen. I asked him, what are your day-to-day -day, uh, job uh, roles and responsibilities? I asked him, he told me, there is a test data set, there is a test set, data set, and the candidate used SQL to connect to the database, collect or retrieve the data sets, massage the data sets, meaning the data set cannot um, need to be cleared or uh, may make a structured or uh, make uh, restructuring, we can say, I, I should say. And then he told me he used to create some data, dashboards, reports, something, something. And then other task is to follow up with the team leads or senior members for if they may be requiring some urgent tasks or something, some helping hand. And then there will be uh, weekly or monthly reports, report generation, coordination with team members, team team leads, creating the reports, and then some some day-to-day -day job and roles and responsibilities, nothing much. So I asked him, uh, you said creating some dashboards, but how? How did you, how do you, how did you create the dashboards or what are them? I asked him, he told me, using Power BI. I, I got amazed by his response. I asked him, oh, you, you know Power BI? He told me. They had that uh, test data set and then they connect, they uploaded that tested data set, Excel files to the Power BI and created some nice dashboards, uh, reports. That's what he told me. They used, uh, then I told him Power BI is kind of a more uh, very nice tool. You should focus. Uh, you should have focused more on the Power BI itself than uh, searching for a SQL or NoSQL job. I told him. Then he said, uh, Power BI as a, just like a user or a beginner, they used it. And they didn't. He didn't master. He didn't learn. Uh, become an intermediate or advanced on the Power BI. That's what he told. So then I told him, uh, okay, all, all looks good with me and uh, you may need to prepare a little bit more about on these areas. 
uh, I, I I gave him some feedbacks like uh, you should you should know what is SQL versus non -S no SQL. So just uh, around uh, ten years or fifteen years, uh, just approximately around twenty ten, I believe. Not much sure. Please check it. So around twenty. Around 2010, the no SQL concepts were introduced, and uh, there were many databases created with the technology with the no SQL concepts. No SQL, and then later, after one or two years, it became it got changed, converted to big data. Big data is the big data analytics tool. Those so these areas were. Uh, Started around 2010, and and then I asked, uh, you should you sh if you guys are uh, looking for a job in MySQL, you should know completely s some some details about MS SQL versus some re some databases like Postgres, something something. In interviewers are always looking to ask difficult questions to you and you guys should know who is who, what is what. That is that is more important. You may be already aware of these things, right? Jack of all trades. And master of none. So, you should know you should be a you should try to become a jack of all trades or as many trades as possible even if um, you should try to become master of not none actually master of one or two so that is what my suggestion to you guys mm. so next thing you should you guys should know just go to no no sql wikipedia page and then i start read some some basics or some history behind no sql why it started why at the beginning uh, why sql was structured query language was used and then why suddenly people started thinking that no sql is the next database systems which we are which we need so what what is why in no sql was created so you guys should try to understand these concepts these areas and then try to understand what is big data analytics tool what tools are there in the market some some something on this and then data analytics after after when you are doing these things so you will automatically start to learn data analytics, data science, data science or data scientist. This requires some heavy experience. I mean, four to five, minimum five years of data analytics experience, then only you can become data scientist. If, if somebody says that I just finished college and I became a data scientist, then you tell them all the very best. So, hope you guys learned something new from this video. Thank you. Catch you later. Bye for now.